In today's video, I want to quickly show you how you can fix your Fortnite not launching in this new Chapter 7. So as you know, Chapter 7 came out and with the new update, getting rid of the Simpsons and everything, some people's Fortnite doesn't load. And personally, I experienced a lot of crashes as well. And it is very annoying because I just got this new computer and I'm like, what? why isn't this working? But in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can fix that and how I fixed it as well. Before going into it, I just want to say leave a like because I know this should help you guys and subscribe if you're new. If you don't know, I'm back to uploading again. I need to replan this entire channel, but I hope hopefully the future plans are going to be very good. For now, I'm still sticking with the tutorials. Maybe I'll show my face in the future, I don't know. But other than that, let's get on with the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up your Epic Games Launcher. And yeah, as you can see, Chapter 7 came out. Even with the last chapter, and upcoming chapters, this, these techniques I'll show you should be able to fix your Fortnite not launching. What you want to do is then go to your library section, find Fortnite, and then double click on the three options. Click on manage, and then next to verify files, click on verify. What this is going to do is going to it's going to go through all your game files that's downloaded onto your computer, and see if there's anything missing or anything that's probably has an error. It's going to go th go ahead verify everything and make sure it's all good to go. This first step alone can probably help fix most of your crashes. Oh and by the way, if you downloaded Fortnite on an external hard drive or a USB, plug in that external hard drive or USB and then click on the verify option. Now this should fix the issue for most of you guys, but if it's not, let's go to the next step. This next step requires you to update your graphics card drivers. So to do that, go to your Windows icon, right click it and click on Device Manager. When you're here, go to Display Adapters open that up and then go to your graphics card right click and click on update driver now if you have an Nvidia graphics card what you can do is search for the GeForce Now or the GeForce Experience and then with this you can click on drivers and if you have available drivers like I do here just click on download and then you can download them and that should hopefully fix your issue this next trick requires you to go to manage again and then click on this installation, open installation location. Um, again, if you've done in a hard drive, plug in your hard drive or your USB and then click on this option. When you're here, click on Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and then scroll down until you see Fortnite launcher, which is right here. Then what you wanna do is make sure it's application, right click it, go to properties, Go to compatibility on this uh, menu right here and check this option and then this option. Then you should just click on apply and then click on OK. You then repeat the same thing for the Fortnite client Windows 64. Again, right click, click on properties, compatibility, turn this on, turn this on, and turn this on. Once you've done that, go up here to add easy anti cheat. Go to easy anti-cheat setup and do the exact same thing. Properties, compatibility, turn this on, turn this one on, and turn this one on. Alright, this next trick I'm going to do should be the game changer of all tricks. This is the trick I used and it completely worked. Hopefully it works the same thing for you. If not, I have some itty bitty tricks at the end which maybe will work, maybe won't work. But I hope, hopefully right now, this trick should work for you. When you're in your Epic Games launcher, go up to your profile click on settings from here scroll down until you see the games so for me this Fortnite right here click on that and then click on this check option that says additional command line arguments type in dash d3d11 what this basically does is use DirectX 11 instead of DirectX 12 some computers may not you know support DirectX 12 I think that's how it works my I got this new computer uh, this new laptop and I've done and I did this and it worked so my new laptop did not support DirectX 12 when this is done press enter go back to your settings and then launch Fortnite and see if it works now that those are the main like the main tricks this still doesn't work I have some itty bitty tricks on the side that could work one is by cleaning your temporary files so to do that click on Windows R on your keyboard from here click on percentage sign T E M P percentage sign again press enter this will open up a, your temporary file I barely have any because I got this new computer like a week or two ago um, but yeah you may, sometimes you guys may have a lot of temporary files sometimes you won't either way 
if you have some temporary files, Control A and press delete. You don't need these on your computer, these just clogging up a bunch of space and just a bunch of resources. And then yeah, that should that's one. What you want to do is go back to Windows R and this time type in just TEMP. Press enter. Press continue. Again, same thing here, just a bunch of temporary files. Control A, press delete. Now, this last trick you can do is just, unfortunately, you're going to have to go here and click on uninstall and then reinstall it. I know this one very annoying to do, could take a long time, but if you have to, you have to. If nothing else worked, this is the only option. And yeah, other than that, those are all the tricks you can use to uh, fix Fortnite crashing. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Again, I'm trying to replan everything. I already changed my profile picture on YouTube. Look at me now. That's basically me in a cartoon. I'm trying to rechange everything, hopefully in a good way. But yeah, other than that, might be more tutorials coming up. Might be something special coming up. I don't know. I'll see you in the next video.